going on everybody welcome back to another great episode of from the ground up i'm your host eddie right betty right barbecue as you can see and we are here on the slab so today's mission we have thing two which yes i'm calling things now we have thing one which was here first thing two got here last week and we need to move them a couple feet this way and get it even with thing one on this side you know just so that it looks the way we want it to look you know and keeps the ambiance straight so we can kind of go into the next phase of everything we're trying to do so we got this beautiful ford f-250 we're going to show you the improper way of how to move a shipping container and uh we're going to hope everything goes well so here we go so in my thought process i know from just watching and very observant that when they move these things around and when we've moved heavy stuff around we used uh some pretty heavy duty bindings which i have one available here so yes we can use chains but if we can save a little bit of money because every dollar counts right now we're going to use this binding and uh we're going to hook it and book it and see if we can just pull we don't need a whole bunch just maybe five feet one way and three feet another way and another two feet so set it down we're gonna do a time lapse we'll see how this thing goes wish me luck Here's the theory. Straps, hook the one eyelet for low, and we're gonna see how it goes. Stand back, watch us work. So in theory, I think we got something here. As you can see, we're right here where we want to be. Actually, I'm a little too goddamn far. I got excited and kept pulling and I probably shouldn't have. But nevertheless, we can turn it around and we can fix it. So let's do the other end and then let's get it lined up as best we can. And boom, we got some success here. A few moments later. I think we're attacking this wrong. 
Let's regroup. All right, so we changed our angle back up. We straightened it back out because it was kind of over too far because we got excited. So now we're back here, strapping it through both sides, hooking it in the center, and we're gonna see what happens. That answers the question. How do you move a shipping container without a forklift? Get a Ford. See you soon.